Today we'll be looking at how to counter any Saitama player. If you had missed any of my other guides, they're right there on my channel as well. Anyways, starting off with his first ability, Consecutive Punches. A lot of beginner Saitama players would do consecutive punches directly after 3 M1s. So if you're holding black, you just have to wait until it ends and then M1. But make sure you don't M1 too early or else you'll pay the price or M1 too late or else they'll walk away from it. Now onto his second ability, Uppercut. Be warned that this is a black break, however barely anyone uses it like this, but a lot of people use it when you're ragdolled. So if you know they're going to, best thing to do is ragdoll cancel right as they're starting their move, and you should be able to get them into a free combo. Optionally, if you're a bit more patient, you can just wait until after you're hit. Now onto his third ability, Shove. This move is a block break, and sometimes, but very rarely, they can use this to get you in a combo, similarly to Sonic's Scatter, so just be warned of that. Now onto his fourth ability, Normal Punch. This move has a devastating amount of damage, and it block breaks, however, it has quite a wind up. If you're not being directly hit by the attack, it won't block break you. So if you're far away and you see them doing it, just hold block. However, if you're up close to them, make sure to M1 them to get them into a free combo. And also, if you see them do it after barrage, you're free to get them into a free combo with just a simple M1. Only sometimes though, as this is heavily dependent on ping. Now onto his alt abilities. Starting with his death counter, if you see him running faster than normal or not regening HP or acting weird and suspicious in any way, such as not using their abilities, then chances are that they have their death counter. Whether it's active or not, you'll know if you start seeing them use their normal abilities. If you had any suspicion of their death counter, sometimes it's just best to count to 10 and then start attacking. But also be warned since if you play completely too scared, they'll probably get aggressive and resort to using it and getting you into a free combo or potentially using one of their other alt abilities. So you can try baiting them out, just be warned that this can be dangerous depending on what you do, whether it's missing M1s or doing a downward kick and being punished for it. Other character specific mistakes such as incinerate as Genos can be devastating as well. Now onto his second ability, Table Flip. This is by far the easiest ability to get caught in, however it's also the easiest to get out of. Most of the time though, it'll look like a 50-50. Just looking at wherever the Saitama is facing, you can determine which direction you should run. And once you do, the best thing to do is side dash and then front dash out. However, if you get caught up really close, for example, you got clipped on a tree, the best thing to do is front dash out. Now onto his third ability, Serious Punch. The wind from this is the most dangerous part. As for getting hit by the Serious Punch, but not getting hit by the wind, does around 60% damage. However, being caught in the wind from it, it will cause an insta-death if you are hit by the serious punch as well. So the best way to deal with this is just to save your ragdoll can. So, so if you do get knocked down, resist the influence to use it, and typically you should be fine if you start seeing them wind it up. Now onto his fourth ability, Omnidirectional Punch. This has a decent wind up to it, however only being in close proximity to it will actually get you stuck in the move. And if there's multiple people in it, only the closest will be pulled into it. However, in the event that you're the only person, if you're far away enough, it'll only do 30% HP. If you had enjoyed the video please leave a like and subscribe and hopefully you can kill that annoying Saitama player.